What's up guys, this is a video on antenna basics with a lot of visual examples. Now for vehicle communications, the standard that you'll find on vehicles is the quarter wavelength antenna. This one here is 2 meters, 150 megahertz, as I've always uh, explained in other videos. It's the most basic antenna that you could put on there. So as a test, I'm dialed into the National Weather Service at uh, 162.4 here locally and I'm using this antenna here just to get a ballpark figure and it's coming in really scratchy hardly there that's minus 96 dBm's which is really down in the dirt so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try different types of antenna on this makeshift uh, vehicle representation here with an NMO mount and uh, and feed it and feed it into the antenna port and measure what I see. I got a quarter wavelength antenna VHF because I'm listening to 162.4 megahertz and uh, I got this makeshift ground plane here and it's uh, somewhat accurately representing an ideal lo uh, situation out in the field. Remember, this is the standard quarter wave uh, inch antenna uh, mostly used in vehicles and what you will typically see for that band. And look at that signal. It went from minus 96 all the way up to minus 86. 10 dBs uh, of improvement. Uh, unlike when I had that little little antenna coming out here which didn't have a ground plane but it was you know somewhat tuned to that frequency as well it was cut for that frequency but without that ground plane it, it, it was uh, really creep uh, really uh, crappy but just just having a ground plane there and a quarter wave inch uh, antenna quarter wavelength antenna cut to the proper frequency you have a significant improvement right there so here's my Mr. Rogers representation of a quarter wavelength radiating antenna. As you can see, it's a circle, omnidirectional. This is an omnidirectional antenna. Yeah, yeah. Meaning that it, it radiates equally in all sides vertically. And the radiation pattern is where in the middle here, there's a little null for the because uh, uh, horizontally it doesn't radiate at all, so it's more like a donut shape. So that's what it'll look like a donut shape. But let's say you're in flatlands and and uh, there's no repeaters or, or or mountainous areas and stuff like that. What you could use is this guy right here. Now for a 5 8 inch, 5 8 wave antenna, this will be quite longer. This one measures roughly 58 inches around there, between 54 and 58 inches. And uh, this length and this wavelength, it doesn't pre present 50 ohms to the radio if it's just a wire. So that's why you see this uh, transformer here. Is a transformer built in here and some coils or one coil I don't know but uh, this would uh, match the impedance of the antenna to your radio so you you need this antenna matching uh, element down here uh, for it to work efficiently but uh, with this size here for 150 megahertz I essentially double my power going out to, to the horizon in all directions so if I put 5 watts of power into this antenna it, it's going to feel like 10 watts out in the field when I transmit also if I receive I will receive twice the distance in a horizontal plane uh, there's some debate whether this is good in, in elevation change you know like if you want to transmit up a, a mountain or a building that has a repeater I, uh, there's some debate about that, but uh, in my case, I will carry two antennas. If I'm in flatland, 
or stationary and I know my, my other party is, is, is in the same elevation as me, horizontal wise, I'll put this sucker on to get more performance. If, I want, if I'm working repeaters or, or uh, change in elevation, then I'll put on the quarter, quarter wavelength antenna. But uh, that's if you're getting picky, you know, if you want some more performance or, or usually the quarter wavelength antenna will suffice for all communications. That's just a happy medium and a workhorse of all vehicle uh, communications. That's including cops, the EMS, and the firefighters. They don't hardly change from this. Only in special application will they change to the 5 8 inch uh, antenna. There's some advantages and some disadvantages, where which is too long to cover in this uh, video. But as far as power and performance, that's the nuts and bolts of it. Now in this example, you can see how that efficient uh, 5 8 wavelength antenna could possibly overshoot the parties that you that you want to communicate with like if uh, in the, the example the vehicle on the right is going up a hill and that whole pattern just shifted upwards overshooting the guy on the left that's a possible scenario what could happen in hilly terrains and also if you want to talk to repeaters uh, have access to repeaters you might undershoot or overshoot the repeaters mostly undershoot and 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 not get in there more efficiently as if you had a uh, quarter wavelength antenna so that's an example of you know uh, the give and take aspects of of, of having uh, different antennas and, and their and their properties 5 8 inch wavelength antenna the full 50 something inches tall in your impedance matching device to match your radio and the ground plane and we got as predicted a couple of dBs 2 to 3 dBs uh, of improvement on that signal there so that essentially doubled the input of, of my receive frequency so what that does is when, when you put in a 5 8 inch antenna is going to flatten this 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 radiation pot up uh, uh, radiation pattern flatter and and when you flatten it out is going to extend out more to the sides so all that radiation that's going up in the sky this way is going to flatten out uh, for some people those those are uh, unwanted or, or wasted power going on uh, on the upward uh, direction uh, the, the goal here is to have the radiation go to the size to where you're going to hit another vehicle another buddy or uh, a home base so here's 3 dB of gain uh, a 5 8 inch antenna would, would uh, give you 3 dBs of gain and 3 dBs of gain would equate to double the size of your radiation powder uh, a pattern essentially you're taking a, let's say a 5 watt transmitter and you flatten the uh, wave the uh, power or, or the radio signal in such a way that it looks it, it would feel like you're transmitting 10 watts of power doubling your power what you're actually doing is you're shaping your your radio waves or your, radi your radiation pattern to where you're flatter on top all that signal is not being wasted going upwards or towards the angle 45 degrees what you actually are doing is you're radiating more horizontally left right in a 360 degrees pattern that's what it's doing so uh, you'll get less communications let's say if somebody's transmitting from a very high mountain or a building, a very high building, but you'll get excellent communications on a horizontal, let's say flatland, in the valley, in the plains. Uh, you'll you essentially double your performance just by by changing your antenna, a 5 8 inch antenna. And the reception is, is the same way as well, so people transmitting to you, you would receive 
twice the distance than, than, than you would if you had a quarter wave inch antenna. That's if you're in a level playing field, you know, not, not in a mountainous area. Uh, this uh, there's some debate about this but uh, normally it would not uh, this is not recommended for if you're using repeater operations or if you're in a mountainous area where, where you require uh, elevation here's an example of a collinear antenna what you see here is actually two dipoles stacked together in one antenna so in this phasing loop to down here it's a dipole antenna then you have another element another dipole antenna from this point to the top so what that does is you got one radiating the second radiating and when they both radiate they they add together their collective uh, radiation pattern to flatten out the signal again making it sort of cast longer twice the distance now this example will be impractical for vehicles or uh, handheld portables but but if you have an antenna that is a collinear antenna or a, a stacked dipole antenna basically the basic is a collinear antenna where you stack the elements each dipole like three four five deep and and they're assembled in such a way that it will flatten that radiation pop power even more so here's that same radiation uh, donut but flattened out even more so here you basically quadrupled your power in this example you can see basically this is for like mountaintops or home base units where you're not gonna transmit in the upward uh, directions you want to cast out to your field units out to the sides and in a down tilt uh, pattern so what they do is they have these uh, collinear antennas where they have three or four stacked elements and the radiation pattern is such that it flattens that donut even more so here it is all flat and then but the radiation power power is cast off to the side uh, more pronounced. Now here's an example of a Yagi antenna or directional antenna. The black one here it's a UHF Yagi antenna and the specs on this is 9 dBs of gain which equates to 8 times the power going in one direction. So if you put one watt of power going this way, by the time it gets out the antenna and, and, and transmit on this location, it's going to feel like 8 watts coming out. You're not increasing the power, you're just concentrating that, that, that waveform or radiation pattern to feel like you're transmitting 8 times more. This one here is for 800 megahertz and it's got uh, 16 16 times the power in one direction you could also receive signals 16 times better if you're receiving signals now, now here's a representation of a Yagi antenna as you can see my uh, my little representation there that's a Yagi pointing that way my, my directional antenna so most of that power is going to be directed at in this location you're not going to get much going off to the side at all and you'll have somewhat of a back blast it's kind of like a baz the bazooka of, of uh, antennas you have your main force going forwards and you have a little bit of force going to the back of you but not much but the most of it is going that way and also your reception would also be improved coming the other way around as well and the amount of ampl amplification depends on the elements on the antennas but you, it's not unheard of to get at least uh, five or eight times the power of, of, of power going in one direction and the other